brother listening? Hey, what have you learned today? What has the pastors taught you? What have the pastors taught you, my brothers? My sisters, what have the pastors been teaching you? Read it again. If you love me, keep my commandments. Because Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So then, what are we teaching you? How you truly love God in Christ. Get that again in 2 John, verse 6. My sister, how do you love Christ? You come out of the church? Brother, ask her, ask her how she loves Christ. How, how does the Bible say to love Christ? You see that? They cast the word behind their back. They don't really want to hear the word. Read. Second John, verse 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that ye, that ye have heard from the beginning. So if we have to walk out this commandment, first we got to know the right day to go to church. What is the right day to go to church? Give me that in uh, Genesis chapter 2 and verse, last verse, last verse. Genesis chapter 2. What did God ordain, hey my brother, what did God ordain is the Sabbath day? Hey my brother, you got a minute? What did God ordain is the Sabbath day? Come on for a minute. We just want to know what they teaching up there, bro. Because maybe we don't, maybe we got it wrong. Yes, sir. Help us out. What are you, what's your name, bro? My name is Christian. Christian? Yes, sir. All right, my name is Kimmy Wood. What's up, brother? Hey, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. What did they, you came out of church? No, 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 I ain't coming out no? of church. Okay. So, what do you, you go to church? Uh, I used to, yeah, I used, used to go to church. I used Stop to go going to church. church? Yes, sir. What happened? Uh, I actually found y'all. You found us? Yes, sir. Okay, so now, have you been, have you been watching? Have you been learning? What you been learning, brother? Uh, that we are the 12, the, the, the 12 tribes. We the 12 tribes. We the Israelites. Right. All praise to the most high. When you was in the church, did they ever teach you that? No, they ain't, they ain't teach us nothing. They never taught us that, did they? they the churches have failed us, right? Yes. What was the church about, primarily? Uh, primarily about singing and, um... Uh, and collecting what? Money. Give me that in uh in uh uh Z um twenty two uh twenty six Ezekiel. So now, what? So now, what we gotta do is we gotta wake our people up to That's the right. truth, right? Yes, you you from Memphis? Yes, sir. Okay, Memphis is one of the murder capitals of the world, right? Yes, sir. So what is the churches doing then? Right. What are they changing? Okay. They ain't changing nothing, are they? Listen to this. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Bring it out. Her priests have violated my law. So now, this is about the priests, our pastors in the Christian church, right? Read it again. Her priests have violated my law uh -huh. and have profaned my holy things. Uh -huh. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. So now, there's a difference between something that's holy and unholy, right? Something that's holy is separate right it's clean right but the priests have done what they have put no difference between the holy and the profane that's what's going on in the christian church that's right they ain't making no difference between god's commandments and and, and how you live your life any other way right read neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean uh -huh. and have hid their eyes from my sabbaths so now how did they hid their eyes from the Sabbath? Let me ask you this. Since you've been learning, yes, did you keep the Passover? Yes, sir. You kept the Passover? Yes, I'll praise it to the most high God. That's a form of repentance. Get a right, brother a hand right. for that. That's right. Okay, now that's you know right. the Sabbath day, right? Yes, sir. So now let me ask you something about the Sabbath day. How do you keep the Sabbath day holy? Uh, you're not supposed to uh, cook. Uh, you're not supposed to cook clean. Uh, you're supposed to uh, be with your brothers. That's right. Uh, Okay, all praises, all praises. No cooking, no no work. Yeah, right. right? Work, no working. Work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Buying and selling. Yes, sir. Right? Cooking. Right? And you said something very good. Give me that in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. You're supposed to be congregating. That's you know we got a school right here, right? Mm -hmm. Right here in Memphis. Have you been yet? No, I haven't been yet. Brother, you got a car? Yes, sir. Brother, go. you got to come. That's you right. see all these men out here, brother? Bring it out. Contending for the faith of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Yes, sir. Brother, it's time to wake up and start coming and congregating with your brothers. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Much forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, 
as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. So now that's what we got to do. We got to exhort, because see, now that you're coming into this knowledge, and you're beginning this walk, brother, you're going to need help, because you are going to be attacked, all right? And there is spiritual wickedness that you're not going to be able to overcome by yourself. Are you married? No, sir. Do you have a girlfriend? No, sir. Okay, you got children? No, sir. No, okay, I'll pray to the Lord. I'm single right. I'm, I'm single right now. You single right now? Yeah, I'm single right now. You want a wife? Yes, sir. Now, what type of wife you want? Uh, I want a wife that's uh that can cook, that 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 can clean, <laughs> that can cook, that can clean, that's obedient, <laughs> that uh, you know, just you know, basically be my help. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you a question. We just came off of Bill Street last night. You gonna find that kind of wife on Bill Street? Nah, I ain't gonna find that. Right. right. That's why you need to start congregating. Read that again, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Because that's what you, you need to come in, you need to learn, get yourself built up, find you a righteous wife, all right? Read that again. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Uh -huh. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. So that's why we gotta come in, because you know what? The world ain't got nothing to offer us, right? It's time for us to come out of the world. Matter of fact, get that in 2 Corinthians, chapter six, verse 17. It's time for us to come out of the world. Now you made a step coming out of the church system, okay? Now you gotta start keeping, applying the commandments, all right, we're going to get a commandment now. Yes, you, you, you know you got to wear fringes, yeah, right? Yeah, no, okay, no, no, no. all right. Let's get down in 2 uh, Corinthians first. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Do you know that God had always separated the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the Israelites? from all the other nations. Hold that, I just want to prove it right quick. Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy 32. You know what I want. We have always been separate. And so when we mingle with these nations, we started taking on their ways. That's why we in oppression today. You understand? Read what you got. 32 and, uh, was it eight? Seven or eight. Seven or one or yep, yep. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse eight. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. He did what? He set the bounds of the of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Read. For the Lord's portion is his people. Uh -huh. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Now, this is what we got because we started to mingle with them, all right? This is, this is the curses that came upon us because we began to mingle with them. Matter of fact, give me that in Psalms 106, uh, 34. I wanna show you something. I wanna know, are you familiar with this? Mm -hmm. Sub-Saharan slave trade, right? Yes, when, we were, when we were enslaved by Ishmael, the so-called Arabs, right? Yes, then you have what? The transatlantic slave trade, Southern Kingdom, give me that one, give me that one too. All right, so then you have, does this look familiar? Mm -hmm. Hey, we see this every year. Matter of fact, it's called the NFL Combine. Right. Right? We see this every year. What about this? Have you seen these images of our forefathers and our foremothers down here in Tennessee and Georgia, Mississippi, Florida, picking cotton for the slave master, right. Arkansas, Kentucky, right? This is, our, this is what happened to us because what? We didn't keep God's commandments. That's right. We started worshiping idols. Look at that, brother. The Statue of Liberty holding the cross with the Ten Commandments, teaching idols, learning idols. This is what's got us into this position. Read that, Psalms 106 and 34. Bring it out. Psalms chapter 106 and verse 34. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. So now, it said we didn't destroy the nations whom the Lord commanded us. When we came out of Egypt, there were some nations he said leave alone. But then there was a land he was going to give us. 
We had to destroy those people. You understand? That means war. Read that again. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, uh -huh. but were mingled among the heathen. What's that mean, mingle? Mingle is like they, uh... intertwined with them like I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you an example like uh like you be on your job and after work they say we're going to have drinks yeah. you know say come on out and have some drinks with us or maybe there's a bowling league or softball league they, they want you to join with them with right read that again they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them uh -huh. but were mingled among the heathen that's where we are today that's why when we hear John 316 we think that all nations are supposed to come together. But what we read, hold that, go back to 2 Corinthians 6, 17. But what we read is, we're supposed to come out from among them. Right? God always separated us. We're the top nation of the earth. All the other nations are supposed to look at us and see us as being the wisest people. But we're on the bottom. We're a proverb and a power. We're an astonishment to the people. Right. They say, how God's people fall so low? Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, Read on. saith the Lord, uh -huh. and touch not the unclean thing. You know what unclean things are? Birthdays. Right. Christmas. Right. Fourth of July. Christianity. These are unclean things that from you we were bought up to keep. Hold Deuteronomy, drop that, and give me uh, uh, Matthew 15 and 3. I'm going to show you why we kept these things, okay? And it's not necessarily that our parents chose to be evil and teach us lies. They were taught lies too. You understand? Matthew 15 and verse 3. Let's see how we got indoctrinated into those lies, all right? Matthew chapter 15 and verse 3. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, why do ye also transgress the commandment of our God by your tradition? So you hear what the Bible is saying? We transgress God's commandments by traditions. And we get indoctrinated to traditions when we're youth, right? When we're young, right? But now, get me um, Deuteronomy 6 and 7. You can drop everything else. Deuteronomy 6 and 7. But instead of being indoctrinated to these wicked traditions we've been indoctrinated into, which have gotten us in this position, this is what we were supposed to do. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand and thy sh and they shall be as friendlets between their eyes so now i'm gonna make it real plain what we're doing is we got to teach our children the commandments right give me joshua one and seven or one and eight and then now i'm gonna ask you a question you love the lord yes sir you love the lord okay so now we're gonna go over a couple of commandments yes sir all right because now this is when you got to get proven yes sir right all of us have to get proven what do we believe do we really truly love the lord because if we believe in the Lord and we love the Lord, we're going to keep his commandments as we read earlier. Read that. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Uh -huh. This is the book of the law. Shall, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. We should do what? Meditate therein day and night. That means we got to be reading and studying daily. Every day, every night, all right? Because this is how you're going to get yourself built up so that you can deal with the, with the world. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC, 
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.